Hello. Oh, oh. Talk about um, <clears throat> the other award shows that uh, took place this film season. I, you know, really missed the mark with that, though. Then again, doing this, uh, you know, more of a weekly thing instead of twice a week, uh, it was a main factor with that. Um, but anyway, um, did the Golden Globes and Critics' Choice Awards already, so I'll do the do SAG and then the others. So, Remy Malik won Best Actor over Christian Bale, which, um, you know, I've seen Bohemian Rhapsody and I've given praise to him in saying the movie was a good film. But I still uh, uh, preferred Christian Bale over Malik, which I still do. Um, but that said, um, you know, uh, yeah, might be a little disappointing that the my preferred pick didn't win, but you know, whatever. Glenn Close won for The Wife, Mercha Ali won for Green Book, and Emily Blunt won for A Quiet Place for Supporting Actress. Well, he was a sporting actor, which was really her only major award nomination for that film. Uh, she beat Amy Adams for Vice, unfortunately, but, you know, anyway, I guess uh, <clears throat> that, uh, I don't know, uh, Amy Adams doesn't seem to be uh, as praised as the others, but <clears throat> in Vice, or at least as Christian Bale has been. Margot Robbie was nominated for Mary Queen of Scots, Emma Stone and Rachel Wise for The Favorite, and um, Black Panther won uh, Stunt Ensemble and Outstanding Performance with the Cast. Um... Of these nominations, also, I saw, I've recently also seen uh, A Star is Born. Um, next week I might talk about it. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, Bradley Cooper was really good. Um, and and, and uh, Malik also won Best Actor. Olivia Coleman won Best Actress. Rachel Weisz for supporting actress for the favorite, and Mahershala Ali again for Green Book. Alfonso Caron won for Roma for best director, and then also won best film at the BAFTAs. You know, switching gears here. An original screenplay went to the favorite. Adapted screenplay went to Black Klansman, and um, yeah. Oh, Star is Born won uh, original music, so Bradley Cooper won, um, which is quite something. Um, yeah, the favorite really won a whole lot of awards. Um, it's British, so you know, you know, also won Best British Film. So you know, it's. Uh, I, don't know, I I also a, a sort of attributed this to um, you know the characters that are played by the majority of the winners except for one were all English you know they're English uh, Freddie Mercury's English um, and the BAFTAs often do you know favor British. Uh, the people portraying British characters rather than uh, non. Not to say that that is always the case, but that seems to be a general uh, case. I was a little surprised that um, Christian Bale hasn't won a BAFTA yet. Uh, 
I mean, he's won an Oscar already, you know, for The Fighter. But he, you know, he, he lost that year to The King's Speech. Um, Jeffrey Rush in that film. And he was good, but, you know, uh, Bay was better, uh, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, you know, Roma seemed to be the big thing, the big film. To win the big award for the evening, and then here it is. Uh, some of the big uh, here's the Academy Awards. Here's the winners here. Let's just go from here. Green Book won Best Original Screenplay. Beat out the favorite, First Reformed, Roma, and Vice. Black Klansman won Best Adapted Screenplay over The Ballad of <clears throat> Buster Scruggs. Can You Ever Forgive Me? If Beale Street Could Talk and A Star Is Born. Regina King beat Amy Adams. Who's in Vice? Marina Di Trivia in Roma. And Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz were the favorite. Weiss were the favorite. Hersha Ali won for Green Book. Over Adam Driver and Black Klansman. Yeah. Sam Elliott and A Star Is Born. Richard E. Grant and Can You Ever Forgive Me? And Sam Rockwell in Vice. Best Actress went to Olivia Coleman, which was a big surprise. Uh, she won for the favorite. Yet so. Let's let's see. Um, Glenn Close and the wife, Lady Gaga, and the Star Is Born, and Melissa McCarthy, and Can You Ever Forgive Me? Um, so. And Remy Malik won Best Actor or Bohemian Rhapsody over Christian Bale and Vice, Riley Cooper and A Star Is Born, Willem Dafoe at Eternity's Gate, and Viggo Mortensen in Green Book. Um, so, and, uh, Alfonso Carrion won for Roma for Best Director over Yargos Lanthimos with the favorite. Spike Lee with Black Klansman, Hannah McKay, Vice. Paolo Pausk and Cold War. I've never heard of that movie until this award. And Best Picture went to Green Book, beating Black Panther, Black Klansman. Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Roma, Star is Born, and Vice. Um, I have not seen many of these films, but uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was good. Vice is good, I thought. You know, I talked about how, yeah, there's a political bend to it, but, you know, for overall, you know, you know it's supposed to be entertaining. Movies are supposed to be entertaining, and, um, yeah, I thought it was a entertaining film. I enjoyed it, um, particularly the performances. Um, I don't know if there was anything that special for the direction, personally, but I don't know. Uh, Black Panther, I've talked about. I, um, and I enjoyed Black Panther, though I I've also said it didn't really deserve Best Picture nomination. It, you know, it was a fine movie, but you know, it didn't do anything uh, special in my view. Um, now, I said uh, Olivia Coleman winning Best Actress was a surprise because everyone said Glenn Close was going to win Best Actress finally for The Wife. And it very much looked that way. Yes, she lost to BAFTA, but uh, again, 
they like to give awards to those playing British characters, you know. The best known example, best examples I could ever give of this not happening, uh, or non-British, uh, non-British winners, or at least winners who played characters who weren't British that won, uh, right offhand was um, Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenant and Casey Affleck for Manchester by the Sea. So, um, you know, with that in mind, um, and you know, the following year was Gary Oldman winning for um, Darkest Hour. Played a British man, you know, Winston Churchill. So there is a pattern, you know. I think, if anything, you can, you might want to hope that somebody not a, playing a British character will win. But, you know, if it, you know, it comes to the BAFTAs, you know, you kind of have to expect they might not win. Um, so, yeah. Um,. Yeah, um, surprising Glenn Close didn't win. I mean, this was her seventh nomination. It's like, and they love to give awards out to those who never got an award before. And Amy Adams, you know, six nominations, no wins, or vice. And I haven't seen, um, if Beale Street could talk, so, you know, I can't make a sound judgment if, uh, in comparing Regina King and Amy Adams, um, but I, 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 I can say I would like to see Amy Adams win. She should have a, uh, a couple Oscars, at least, I think, for Fighter, for sure, and American Hustle. I think in American Hustle, I would have loved to have seen all four of the actors and actresses, you know, any of those guys nominated win, but, you know, I think Christian Bale definitely should have won for that film and for Vice. Um, Malik, again, was very good. Um, but I just, I just saw Dick Cheney when watching Vice. I didn't see Christian Bale. But my leak won, and I, I, I'm going to compare this to the when Eddie Redmayne beat Steve Carell. You know, wanted Steve Carell to win. I think he did. Still, to this day, gave a better performance. But you know, Eddie Redmayne did a good job, and was in the realm of deserving the Oscar. And the big award. So with that, I can't really be upset in that scenario. That that applies here. I can't really be very. Not even upset's a not a good word, but you know, all that disappointed. I can be disappointed that my preferred uh, pick to win didn't win. But as far as that goes, you know, it's like uh, it's not really a, an upset, right? Um, I'm just surprised, you know, Sam Rockwell was nominated. Um, I mean, nothing against him. I mean, he did a fine job, but, um, Steve Carell, uh, as Donald Rumsfeld was, I think, gave a better performance. Um, or at least that in that sense of being nominated. I think he gave a better performance, uh, to have been considered for a major award. <clears throat> I'll just put it that way. Um, and with Green Book, I don't know. I Again, I haven't seen it, so I can't really compare it to all these other films. Some I have seen, some I haven't. Um, if A Star Is One or A Star Is Born One, I would have been, okay, that's fine. Um, but I really did think Roma was going to win. Uh, it was winning everything. I was surprised when Green Book won. Um, 
I hope, though, when I do see it, uh, I enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, uh, and I didn't really uh, go too long. Um, I don't know about this year, the films of this year, which could be possibly nominated. Big awards for next year. Um, really don't. Though I will say, um, A Quiet Place, uh, I believe, is my favorite film of the year last year. I, I've been able to look at the films I've seen, and that's just my preferred pick. I really love it. Um, I don't know um, what other major awards it could be. Nominated for, um, I saw it get nominated for the Critics' Choice Award for Best Screenplay, um, which is interesting and an interesting thought. Screenplay, you know, um, And that really got me thinking, I'm like, hmm, could it have been nominated for the Academy Award for Best Screenplay? Original Screenplay? Perhaps. I know someone would be like, oh, it's so quiet, they don't really talk, which is true. Though, you know, you do have to write in certain things, like what would be seen visually, uh, even though the director might have an idea of how it would be done. And John Krasinski directed it, and he helped write it. Um, excuse me. Like he took some drafts of his their script, and then he wrote another draft of the script and input uh, implemented certain things that he wanted to see in it. And uh, from there, um, you know, that's why we got credit for writing it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was a very fine film. Um, if it was nominated for screenplay, I would have been fine if it won, or at least nominated. Um, it did get nominated for an Oscar. Um, best sound. Best sound editing. And I saw a picture, people were like, what? Sound editing. But I guess with the creatures and the monsters and all that stuff and everything, um, that's fine, you know. Nothing wrong with, nothing wrong with that, really. Um, but, yeah, uh, that's really all I have to say, um. I didn't really have too, really any real expectations. Would have loved to have seen Christian Bale win his second Oscar and first Best Actor Oscar, but that didn't happen. I have a feeling he will win an Oscar for Best Actor one day, um, but at the same time, it's like you know, to so many, he's a, he is the best actor, at least of his generation. Um, and people love watching the films he's in, so that in itself is a more award, and a bigger award than an Oscar. He does have an Oscar, but I would have loved to see Amy Adams win an Oscar and Glenn Close win an Oscar, too. Um, they both deserve an Oscar, both of them. Deserves to have, they both deserve to have more than one Oscar right now. They don't, and it's unfortunate. In terms of when you, you see what's supposed to be, you know, the biggest award show and the best don't win, or when they do win, it's like, finally they win. Either they finally got nominated and won, or after so many nominations, they finally won. And if 
the Ladgers the case. It's like you just hope it's deserving. Um, but yeah, as opposed to we messed up and you should have gotten this before. Maybe you should have a couple of these, but here you go. Um, you know. Yeah. Things like that are another reason why people don't take the Oscars seriously. And yeah, these award shows seriously. But that's really all I have to say. Um, otherwise, I'll just be rambling. So until next time, have a good day. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. And I'll see you next time.